gonna say thank you Thank you just for coming Thanks for all the good things We'll share and come what may We wanna say Best show ever. Thank you. Uh, Dr. Rosemary Trulio, the Senior Vice President of Curriculum and Content at Sesame Workshop and the author of this compelling book, Ready for School, A Parent's Guide to Playful Learning for Children 2 to 5. Thank you for joining us. Oh, thank you for having me. Um, why does Sesame Street matter so much to all of us, but particularly our children? Well, Sesame Street is not only helping us prepare children for school, but preparing children for life. It's a comprehensive curriculum. Now, we uh, are often thought of as the letter and number show, but we're so much more. It is a comprehensive curriculum. And um, more recently, we've been focusing on the skills that help children learn. So not only what to learn, but how to learn. Such as, as we, excuse me for interrupting, 50th anniversary, let yes. me just say. Those skills are? Talk about them. Oh, those skills are, yes, they're the academic skills. Beyond that. Yeah, beyond that. The life that. skills, particularly in the very polarized, divisive world, it's somewhat mean. I'm sorry, I don't want to get political. Um, why is it more important than ever before? Well, we have to learn how to understand each other. We have to learn to know more about ourselves and how we relate to others. Um, you talked about kindness, right? We're, we're mean. Well, Sesame is, think about the, the community. It is a diverse and inclusive community. With tremendous empathy. And tremendous amount of empathy. It's about taking the perspective of others. That's what empathy is. But it's more than empathy, it's compassion. The actions that you do, the behaviors. So when we focus on kindness, we show kids what does kindness look like? Mm. It's not enough to just say please and thank you. Right, that's, that's, that's just, those are manners. But true kindness is seeing that someone needs help and your willingness to recognize that, that situation and the emotion and to find out how you mm. could address that person to, to help the person and to make the person feel better. Version, what's oops and ahs? Okay, oops and ahas is- Oh, ahas, I'm Yeah, sorry. ahas. And the reason why season 50, see, Sesame Street's curriculum focus changes every year. It's a whole child curriculum but it's a dynamic curriculum because we're always meeting the needs of today's children. Right. What, do, what are the best practices and what are, are the needs that we need to address through the content we create? So when we were preparing for season 50, we learned a lot about the amount of stress and pressure that our young children are dealing with. We're dealing, the adults are dealing with the amount of stress and pressure and it's, now it's being pushed onto our, our children. So it results in a sense of them being more fearful. They're not, children not being willing to take risks and make mistakes. We learn best by our failures. We learn best when we make mistakes. So when a child is so concerned and anxious, and I'm gonna use the word anxious mm. because anxiety rates are, are increasing, they're not willing to try and they become less independent Fear in our failure. time. Fear of failure. So we're introducing, it's okay to make a mistake. Oops. Oops. And what are we gonna learn from this is uh -huh. what was, aha. Uh -huh. If, big if, there are people around us to promote the idea. That's right. That making a mistake is an opportunity. I'm not gonna get philosophical. I teach a lot of leadership and I say people who don't acknowledge their mistakes can never learn to lead. That's right. And it's the same thing, only exactly. just about life, much bigger issue. Why do you think so many of us, it's interesting, you're talking about, um, doctor, talking to adult, uh, making, helping children understand oops and ahas. Why do you think so many adults are so <laughs> um, resistant to, oops, my bad, I own it. Hey, what can I learn from this? Because I think we're also um, not confident. We're not, um, we're afraid of the criticism. We're afraid to own it because to own it, you have to say, I made a mistake. And well, are people gonna think less of me? No, you're just not perfect. Mistake? Join well, the club. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a lesson. That's about resiliency. And that's what we need to start teaching children. But the thing is the children are looking to us as the adults. So if we can't own our mistakes, that's right. how are they going to learn to own their mistakes? Which is why in my book, yeah, I talk, talk about, about two to five? spilling milk. Okay, yes. I'm sorry, for two to five are the ages? Yes. 
And by the way, uh, our initiative right from the start, NJ, we have a public awareness initiative around zero birth to three. You're on the cusp there and moving forward into pre preschool. This is for parents to help their children? Yes. For example? For example, um, well, we know that the first five years of life are critical. This is when the brain is developing at a very rapid pace. And when you talk to educators, they often turn to parents and say, well, you're not doing enough. You need to do X, Y, and Z, whatever it is. And my frustration is that parents need models. Who is helping parents be better parents? Who is helping parents become more understanding of child development? Mm. What is age appropriate? And what kinds of activities can they do to help their child get ready? And what's the, the book is all about play. And this is a very important message to parents, because parents think to get their child ready for school, it's about rote learning. It's about doing worksheets. No, children learn best through play. And you can take a whole school readiness curriculum through play. So the book is a resource. It's a, a, um, a resource for activities and what to do with your child across the ages, across different content areas. Particularly around the house, yeah. in the community, where you would otherwise think, well, that's not a place to learn. Well, of course it is. That's, it's all everyday it's moments. It's not all in flashcards. No, it's not in flashcards. It's so not. It's not in flashcards. Do not use flashcards. <laughs> use cooking together. Let's not promote use memorization. <laughs> Let's promote creativity, right? Right, and it's about taking your child's interest, mm. following your child's lead through play, and then infusing it. And so how do you infuse it with these learning moments? That's what the book is about. Giving the parents a guidebook. So we're doing a great job. Parent, listen, this is not about Two making seconds, parents right. feeling bad. This is about helping parents do a little bit better. Uh, Sesame Street and Communities, our friends at PSC and G, That's plugging right. you guys, right? Yes. One of your funders disclosed Absolutely. ours as well. Uh, Ready for School, a parent's guide to playful learning for children two to five. Um, Rosemary, thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Uh, you make Hoboken proud. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> right back. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. I don't make Newark proud or I'm born and raised because it's the end of the show and I got that wrong. See you next time. PSE&G is building New Jersey's clean energy future. We're working to protect our network against extreme weather, expanding and upgrading transmission lines, and modernizing our natural gas system by installing new, more durable underground pipes. At PSE&G, our goal is to make sure you have the safe, reliable energy you need to power your life now and into the future. Also brought to you by Holy Name Medical Center. This place is different. The Russell Berry Foundation, making a difference. Delta Dental of New Jersey, everyone deserves a healthy smile. And by the Turrell Fund, supporting right from the start NJ.